Good afternoon, I'm Susan Dinkle. It's Monday, May 15. Some local organizations are being impacted by COVID-19 emergency money that's coming to an end. A local bus service that relied on that money is now no longer able to run in many places, and that's put some Wabash Valley seniors who use the bus for doctor's appointments in a pinch. News 10's Blake Dahlier went to Thrive West Central to learn more about the future of the bus service and spoke with a local woman who relied on the bus as her sole form of transportation. Blake joins us now live. Susie, Thrive West Central has put those restrictions, as you said, on urban to urban transportation here in the city of Terre Haute. Now, it's something that many people, and like you said, especially seniors, have had some trouble with. Thrive West Central says since late 2020, the extra relief money has helped people like Karen Schultz. But since the funding was cut off, Thrive says bus routes had to be cut too. Thrive says it had to restrict its urban to urban trips, but rural services are still completely open. Schultz says she doesn't have a way to get to her appointments anymore. In fact, she told me she had to use her power wheelchair for over a half an hour through town to get to an appointment. Now she says this has been a safety concern. It's dangerous and terrifying when you're going out and being a senior and you're going through neighborhoods and you you read about all these kids just doing stupid stuff just because they're bored. Now, Thrive West Central is working with the city of Terre Haute to hopefully come up with a solution. And coming up at 6 o'clock, I'll tell you more about the struggles that Schultz has experienced. Reporting live in Terre Haute, Blake Dollier, News 10.